So the topic that we are going to do today is very important. That is adjectives. And adjectives are known as describing words. Right? Like I told you, nouns are naming words. Pronouns are uh, uh, used in place of noun. Similarly, there are adjectives too. And adjectives are describing words. Why describing? Because ad adjectives always describe noun or pronoun. They always describe noun or pronoun. See, if we say uh, car, car is a noun, right? But if we say new car, so new will is an adjective because it is describing, it is telling something about the noun car. Or if we say uh, red car, so that is also red is adjective. All right. So adjectives are the words that describe. So that is why they are often known as describing words because they describe noun or pronoun. So first and foremost thing that we need to know is the kinds of adjectives. All right. Kinds of adjectives. All right. And uh, they are very easy that way. So uh, the first kind that we have is the adjective of quality. Adjective of quality. Now please understand an adjective of quality describes the nature or quality of a noun or pronoun. Now, noun is always a person, place, a uh, thing, right? So, uh, it tells us the nature or quality. For example, if we say, the film I saw last night was very good. Huh? Uh, let me write it. The film I saw last night was very good all right now here in this sentence what are we talking about we are talking about the film right film which is a noun and uh, what is describing the film what is telling us about the nature of the film or the quality that is the word good we are using the word good to describe the film so good is an adjective here clear so this is adjective of quality the word that defines the nature or quality of a noun or pronoun is called adjective of quality second is adjective of quantity adjective of quantity please understand this is quantity uh, the first one was quality. Quality is about nature. Quantity is like how much of a thing is being talked about. Uh, what is quantity? How much of a thing is being talked about? Kitna. You know, quality is kaisa. It always tells how. And it is how much. Alright? It always tells us uh, kitna. How much? Okay. For example, if I say, uh, please get me some juice. From the shop. Right. So here you see, juice is the noun. Okay. Which has been defined. Juice is the noun. And here the word sum is used, which is which tells us quantity. How much juice? Some juice. So here this is adjective of quantity. This is adjective of quantity. Like Madhvi spent all her money on candy. How much money? All her money. So all will be adjective of quantity here. Clear? Is this clear? Ma'am. Next is 
adjective of number adjective of number now please understand number tells us how many how many the way quantity told us how much kitna numbers a number uh, adjective of number tells us how many uh, people or things are being talked about they are always used with countable nouns okay adjective of number is used with countable nouns please remember right for example um, if can, say, uh, yes 2 kg uh, can 2 kg come in the adjective of number no 2 kg kilogram it is the weight it is the quantity how much okay if you number number is like there are six apples in my basket so six apples six is the number but if you say i have got 2 uh, kg apples right so here 2 kg defines the quantity volume so you know that will be adjective of quantity here it is number if you are giving the number so like six as i told you sometimes many many because it is used with countable nouns many even ordinal numbers like neil armstrong was the first man to walk on the moon so first here is adjective of number got it yes have you got it beta yes ma'am okay now look at the next one demonstrative adjective demonstrative what is demonstrative to demonstrate ha huh? so when it uh, it is used to point out a noun or pronoun right point out in what way this that there are four we have this these that those right these are four demonstrative adjectives but now please understand uh, the difference because there are demonstrative pronouns also but demonstrative adjectives will always be used with the noun like if we say these students did very well in the exam all right and if i say this is my student now just look at the difference right look at the difference here these students students is the noun and the word these is pointing out at them so in a way it is demonstrative adjective why because it is describing the student it is telling us something about them but here in this sentence this is my student only this is used there is no adjective with it this is my student so here it is not an adjective here it is a pronoun right got it or not fam hmm next is interrogative adjectives all right interrogative adjectives uh interrogative adjectives uh is used to ask questions okay these are used to ask questions right which whose what huh these are interrogative adjectives like which book would you like to buy now because here which is used with the noun book so that is why it is an adjective okay but if you are saying something else like which is your way to read the book which is your way but that way the noun is not there with the word which so there it is not an adjective there it is acting as a pronoun the next is 
possessive adjectives. Possessive, possession, adhikar, right? So it always tells us that an object or person belongs to something, okay? Means a noun uh, that can be an object or a person belongs to something. That is possessive adjective. For example, my brother, uh, his sister, your father, our house. So my, his, uh, your, our, these are all possessive adjectives. They become adjectives when we use them with some noun. All right. But when we are using these words in place of any noun, then they become pronoun. Okay. So, his can be used either as a possessive adjective or as a possessive pronoun. So, but always remember, we never use an apostrophe. This is a very common mistake which children do. Like, you know, they write yours. They always write yours like this. No, it is wrong. It is always like this, without apostrophe. We never use apostrophes with possessive adjectives. Is it clear? Yes? Is it clear, Laisha? Yes, ma'am. Now, please understand formation of adjectives. You must know how to form adjectives. You know the way you formed abstract nouns. So, in the same way, you can also form adjectives. Okay, uh, let us discuss some. For example, if we say, see, some uh, adjectives can be derived from nouns also. Huh? How, like, if there is a noun pain, it's an abstract noun. What can be adjective for pain? Yes, painful. By using the suffix ful, you have made it an adjective, painful. Similarly, if the word is order, orderly, it has become an adjective now. Huh? Photo, photographic, that becomes an adjective. Okay, in the same way, adjectives can also be formed uh, from verbs. Okay, like for example, advise. A D V I S E advice is a verb. If it if it is advice, V I C E, that is a noun. So advice verb is there. We can always make in make it an adjective like advisable. Right? Tire. Tiresome. Hmm? Similarly. Uh, it uh, adjectives can also be derived from other ad adjectives also huh? like brown which is a color which can be used as adjective we can also make it brownish historic historical I hope you have been able to understand how to form adjectives yes do you get it Yes, ma'am. Okay, now let's to now let's come to another very important topic under adjectives only. That is degrees of comparison. Degrees of comparison. See, adjectives change their form to show comparison. Okay, and these are called degrees of comparison. So basically, there are three degrees of comparison: positive. Comparative and superlative. Positive, comparative and superlative. Right? So, uh, what is there in these degrees of comparison? Let me tell you. Positive degree of comparison is the simplest form of adjective. Simplest form of adjective. 
uh, and it is used when no comparison is made. No comparison is made. All right. For example, if we say uh, Ram is a strong boy. So here this word strong is the adjective. It is the simplest form. And if we are not comparing Ram to anybody here, that is why uh, we have used positive degree that is strong. Now comparative degree is used when two nouns are compared, when two nouns, those nouns can be persons, those, those nouns can be places or um, things, okay? So, when two nouns are compared, in that situation, we use comparative degree. And please understand that we always use than after it. Comparative degree is always followed by than. Like, for example, we can say, Ram is stronger than Sham. Now, in this sentence, we are comparing Ram to Sham. And the comparison is between two persons. That is why we have used comparative degree. And it is followed by than. Now, the third degree is the superlative. Superlative degree is used when uh, more than two things are compared. Okay, comparison between, uh, comparison among more than two. When there is comparison among more than two nouns, then we use superlative degree. And always remember, superlative degree uh, always is always uh, preceded by the. We always use definite the before superlative degree. I told you while doing articles also. Like, for example, we can say Ram is the strongest boy in the class. Ram is the strongest boy in the class. So, in this sentence, it means that when we are calling Ram the strongest, it means we are comparing him to all other boys in the class. And they must be more than two. Okay. So here the comparison is not between two people. It is between more than. It is among more than two. That is why we are using the superlative degree. And before superlative degree we always use the. Is it clear? Is it clear, Laisha? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And now please see that positive, comparative, superlative. You must also know how to form them. Like the adjectives which ending in E, the adjectives ending in E, for example, adjective large is there. So it is ending in E. So comparative degree will be larger and superlative will be largest. Ripe, riper, ripest. Okay. Similarly, uh, if, uh, so if the adjective is, Ending with E, you just put R at the end. Okay, add R to it and EST in the superlative. So, they become like that. For adjectives of one or two syllables not ending in E, for example, like small. So, there you will have to add ER. So, it will become smaller and then smallest. Okay. Here you added only st. Here you will have to add est because it is not the word is not ending with e. Okay, some adjectives double for some ad adjectives double the consonants. Like if it is hot, for example, hot is there, so it will become hotter double t and hottest. Okay, big. Bigger, biggest, right? Uh, some adjectives uh, end in Y. So you just change that Y into I and then form the degrees. Like the word is pretty. So it can be prettier and Prettiest. Okay. 
happy, happier, happiest. And then there are some irregular comparisons also, like where we do not follow any pattern, like the way good, better, best, hmm? bad, worse, worst, little, less, least, L-E-A-S-T, right? And with famous, more famous, and superlative will be most famous, right? Like the adjective certain is there, certain, more certain, and most certain. All right?